hello guys welcome back to another video today is going to be a different video today we are i am going to show you the best ways to store your favorite cards and such and without further ado um let's get started so we're gonna start with the packs so i have this set bait or er, jungle pack that we're opening when we get to uh 500 but the way that I stored this was, let me just take this off. Now look. So you have your pack. You have your pack. And then let's say you have extra card saver. So you're going to want to just lay it back on it. And then you have your like bigger looking sleeves. And then slide it in. And seal it shut. So really nothing too hard to do that and it really helps and and now we'll do a like just regular cards that you like so i mean like if you don't have enough money to get things graded you could always like like have your favorite card just laying around but like what you could do with this is you have your favorite card or one of your best cards you put it in one of these like oversized sleeves they're not too oversized but they're still a little bigger than the card and then you're gonna want to get these card savers or the top loaders and then put it in here and then it's nice and snug it doesn't really move around so that's good and yeah it's pretty useful so we're gonna put this back here too uh, another way that you can store things, I like to do this with the, the cards that are already in little packages. I like to put them in card savers because when you do this, it, everything stays exactly the same no matter what. It, like, like, you could, like, the packaging stays nice and pristine, nothing ever happens, and, yeah. So yeah, that, that's what this card, this, that's what this, that is. And if you're wondering why I keep using the jungle pack, it's because it's the only pack I have right now. Because all of my other, all my other stuff has been used in videos that will be coming out next week. I'm going to try to see if I can find another pack or other things. So, yeah. Uh, another thing that you're going to want to do, well, let me just take it out real quick but let's say you have a really really good card like like this card like this card right here and you don't really have the best quality stuff to store it well you could go to like your local like walmart because they have these these like heavy duty cases only one dollar each so they're really cheap so you would put make sure you have one of these snug uh sleeves though Put that in. Yep. And then uh, you take the other side. I, I mean, it's pr you, you, you understand what, what we're doing, basically, for this one. I gotta just... I usually just like to flip it upside down so I can get the thing to happen. And then I always have one of these. Uh, I forgot what they're called. And we just put that in there. Close it up. It's now nice and snug. See, so you guys know now it won't get damaged. It's really solid, actually. Like, listen to this. So, chances of something like that happening, uh, really low. But um, another way to store your cards is just grade them, of course, and grade them and just make sure they have a good place to rest, like take one of these or something and put them on here. Like we could put the Charizard on here, but something like that. And then it looks really nice. So I would recommend doing that if you want to display your card. And then also uh, another thing that I like doing when I get new cards is finding a good place for them to go. Like, uh, I would usually have my graded cards over here in this corner. 
I took them out because I'm rearranging where I have things right now. But yeah, that so I would put them there and most of the times no one would get them. But if you want to take that extra step, I don't know, buy a safe, <laughs> buy a safe if you want. But definitely don't go too heavy because I don't think if someone was to come to your house, they would just steal something. But anyway, it was... This was just a video of me telling you uh, how you should store your cards if you'd like. I also do have this, which I do store these in because they do really, they fit really nice and snug. Like, let me show you this. Yeah, like I don't have a full box of them, but they, they go in really nicely. So anyway, that was it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was kind of boring but i don't i don't know just if you're wondering how to store this is the way that i do it so i'll see you guys next time and make sure to subscribe bye